guys happy Friday I am dropping by quick to do a little bit of makeup because I'm heading out to yoga soon so it's gonna be a fast one but I promised you guys that we would do some basic really pretty fall nudes otherwise known as no makeup makeup and so it's perfect yoga makeup it all worked out perfectly so I've been telling you guys all week a little bit about kind of like the overarching theme behind fall colors this year. Um, really kind of just richer, deeper tones of those colors that we loved all spring and summer. And the same goes for your nudes. So if you were rocking like a nude peachy lip all summer, same kind of idea, except we're gonna go a little bit darker and a little richer. What does that look like? Camel tones, earth tones, things like that things that I've been telling you guys <laughs> for a few days now if you've been watching. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my pressed powder foundation. I put a little bit of primer on already. I don't like to wear super heavy makeup on yoga days, especially restorative yoga days because I basically just keep my head on a pillow for an hour and it's the best thing ever but I cannot contain my excitement because tomorrow's the day oh my god I'm so excited we're going to see the cursed child on Broadway for any of you that live under a rock that's the Harry Potter play we're going to see parts one and two tomorrow I am I'm like beyond excited. Like I excited doesn't cover it. Like <laughs> I'm so excited. I have got Potter fever like no other guys. Like real talk. I just finished reading all the books. I don't advertise this because people make fun of me, but yes, for the first time. Yes, I was alive the first time they came out. <laughs> Yes, I could read the first time they came out. I don't really know what my issue was, but I just wasn't about it. And so I just finished reading all of them with my mom and my fiance. We, uh, we are just finishing up. We had a book club the entire time called Muggle Club. And we read all of the Harry Potter books together. And it was incredible easily like the highlight of my year and I got addicted and now I can't get enough and I bought all of the other Harry Potter books that I could find besides the original seven so like Quidditch through the ages and like the tales of Beetle and Bard and like all that kind of stuff that's what I've been reading right now so as far as neutrals go with no makeup makeup um, even if you're going for a really light look like I am today, blush is a must-have. And I am obsessed with this color for fall. I wore this a little bit in the spring and summer, but more of my, my summer color was really more this. And I'm really into this one. I don't know, it's the shimmer. This is also pretty, um, also pretty for fall. But this is the Moodstruck Powder Blush in Serene. And it's got just a really pretty light shimmer. It's not like sparkly, don't worry. But it's got a really pretty kind of earthy rose tone, which has kind of been the trend with my fall makeup. Um, ditto, I'm not gonna put it on because I'm going to yoga, but highlighters in gold, rose gold tones. So we're retiring these kind of highlighters for the season. So these really, really, I know I said gold, but this is not what I meant. So this is more like sunshine yellow gold. I'm talking about like warm bronzy gold. That's what I'm talking about. So this, gorgeous for summer, love it. I'll bring it back out in June, but for now, into the makeup tower, it goes. Um, so I'm going to skip eye makeup because I'm going to yoga and I don't want it to get all over the place. So I'm just gonna pop some waterproof mascara on but then I wanna show you some of the nude fall eyeshadow colors that I'm talking about. And we actually have a complete palette. 
that has all of the fall neutrals that you would ever need. You can literally get it in one palette. It's incredible. And then I'll show you some of the pressed shadows though in some fall colors that I'm really loving too. This is our new waterproof formula, um, by the way, for anyone that is curious crazy long and it does last for freaking ever. I have to use the uh, makeup removing stick to get rid of it at the end of the day. And it doesn't budge with yoga, which is story of my life. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna do brows because again, that seems silly. So what am I talking about? This is the palette. So I don't know if I've showed you guys these, I think I have. Um, so Unique has a set of, they're called addiction palettes, and they're super sim similar if you are kind of like a makeup junkie and you've been to Sephora, they're a lot like the Urban Decay palettes, um, particularly the colors, like I, it wasn't a mistake, it's because the Urban Decay palettes were such a big deal. This was kind of Unique's spin on it. So this one is number one, and it is perfect for fall. So this is what I'm talking about when I say new fall neutrals. We're doing warm browns, rich tans, a little bit of like silver shimmer, just to bring a little dimension, particularly like under your brow bone if you were doing that. But this is what I mean by fall neutrals. You could wear this and if I, if I did my whole eye, it would literally look like no makeup makeup, just make my eyes look bigger and pop. Gorgeous. And the great thing about this is that it's all in one little thing. You pop it in your makeup organizer or your bag or whatever and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different rich brown and tan shades. Pretty good. Um, the other addiction palette that I like for fall and going into winter is number two, which also has some pretty brown and taupe shades, but this is a little more silver, which I just associate with snowflakes. I don't know if that's just me, but like silver is like New Year's and snowflakes and stuff like that. So that's why I like that one. Um, those are great. Let's see. I also wanted to show you our duet shadows are also really good for fall um, because a lot of the colored pairings, like this uh, really pretty tan and gold, this is like all you need for your eyes. Gorgeous, done, perfect fall shades. I um, And that was called Like Minded. And then this one is called One and the Same, which is a really pretty, going off of yesterday, how we did that really, really gorgeous fall rose gold color. Same idea. And again, like one stop shopping, one little thing, and you can do your lid and your crease and you're done. Like I love, multi things that like I just have to have one thing for the space of having seven things <laughs> I like that um if you do love the pressed shadows though because I know that some of you do and I certainly do if you have a little bit more storage space these two brown shades gorgeous neutrals for fall and let me tell you specifically what I am talking about so this is gullible I wear this almost every day. It's just a really pretty matte brown. Um, it's not dark at all in the lids. It's really, really pretty. And then Nimble, I also wear almost every day, which is a little bit lighter. So I swatch for you. So that's Nimble. And you can see like it's really light, really subtle, really, really subtle right there. And then gullible. And you know, if you love shadows, you can play with these. You know, you can do a little bit darker, but for those gals that just want a pretty neutral, no muss, no fuss look, this is what I'm talking about. My lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My like makeup mirror light died. There we go. There we go. It's pretty brown and like I'm wearing olive today which is great this is like a very fall trendy color it's great with that that was not an accident to that on purpose um so yeah those are some really good neutral eyes 
I feel like, especially if you're going for a neutral look, now is not the time to be like going crazy with colors and things like that. Like neutral means neutral. And whether you wanna play down your eyes or your lips in the fall, the trend and the thing that we're going for is really just warm browns. That's what we're doing, that's what everyone's doing. So then as far as lippies go, my favorite, 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 favorite neutral lip is this one right here. It's called Contrite, and I'm actually going to put it on because it's really pretty. And I like to think of this, again, it's a powder lipstick. I'm obsessed with these for fall. But I like to think of this as like my natural lip color with just a little bit of a kick. It's really subtle, like super, super subtle. Um, if you want a true nude look, so if we're going for really just like an all over nude, complicated is a great option, which I showed you guys yesterday. It's just a darker, richer brown. And then also fab for fall are lip plumpers. The new ones that came out in colors, first of all, they're amazing and they work and my mom and I are obsessed with them. <laughs> Second of all, they are so pretty for fall. Like they were designed for fall. Look at this color. How pretty is that? So pretty. This is Chandel, that's what this one is. So pretty. Um, lip stains really aren't so neutral, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, my favorite nude lip of all time, like when I wanna do, like if I'm doing a really, really bold eye and I just want a nude lip, uh, my favorite is in our liquid lipstick. Uh, Sublime. And it's, it's seriously, it's the perfect nude lip. perfect. Um, I feel like every woman should have one of these in your makeup kit because a nude lip, like a classic, just timeless nude lip, always good. Um, but the thing that I do really like about this for fall, it's great all year round. I've, I wear this all year round, but it's that dusty, you know, kind of like dusty rose nude color that we're trending. That's what we're doing. So that's good. Um, let's see. There's one other lipstick I wanted to show you. Also, classic nude lip. Everybody should have this one too. This is well to do. And it is the definition of a nude lip. It's perfect. Perfect for fall. Why? Because if you're playing up with those really fun bronzes and browns and stuff on your eyes, like you can get creative. You can do a cool gold. You can do like, you've seen some of the ones that I've posted with like reds and oranges and super fall. It looks kind of intense for daytime, at least, if you pair that with like a super, super, super bold lip. I normally tell people one or the other. And so if you're gonna do like fun eyes and stuff, then do something really classic and nude, like that lip. That's perfect, perfect to go with those eyes. And then to go with a nude lipstick, if you're a gloss gal, Lux is the perfect nude color. called Lux. It's one of our lip glosses. It's amazing. And it's the perfect nude color. I wear it on top of this lipstick all the time. And it's even pretty on top of some of these darker shades just because it like lightens them a little bit and makes them neuter. So that's a cool trick too. If you have a nude colored lip gloss, you can put that on top of a darker lipstick and lighten it. It's a cool little layering technique. But yeah, that's fall nudes. Who is excited for fall, guys? Oh my God, it's like almost October. Ah, I can't wait. But more than that, I can't wait for Harry Potter tomorrow. Oh my God. Okay, so I am gonna run to yoga to try and chill the fuck out <laughs> for a little bit because I can't be this hyped up. The play isn't until two o'clock tomorrow. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind and I'm gonna crash at like one. So I'm gonna go.